so delighted to join you today for this special occasion. Celebrating 20 years in existence of Reach Out of Leia is quite an accomplishment. Uh, and I congratulate all of you on this milestone. And I've been touched to understand that um, not only do we have the current leadership of Reach Out of Leia with us, but um, past leaders, including um, our mission colleague, uh, Stella Lamo, uh, who, as you just heard, was the executive director from 2006 to 2014, uh, so many other clients, and of course, um, all of the clients and community members. I I'm also honored to continue the tradition of having an American ambassador participate in milestone events. Uh, I understand that one of my predecessors, Ambassador Jimmy Coker, was officiated. Uh, in 2019 when you celebrated PEPFAR's 15 year anniversary and I look forward to um, emailing him later today and sharing some of the pictures from today. So his past presence here at PEPFAR's establishment here and continuing to, to today. So currently um, Rome is receiving PEPFAR funds through CDC partner, the Infectious Disease Institute in Miami, Uganda, as well as implementing the USAID Integrated Child and Youth Development Activity in Kampala District uh, through the Twana Initiative of World Education, which the Executive Director mentioned. Uh, and I'm so pleased to see that the uh, very first PEPCAR client, not just in Uganda, in the world, um, John Robert Ngole has already spoken, um, is here with us today. Reach out and Buya's story and his are an important part of the successful legacy of PEPFAR and of the partnership in addressing the global pandemic of HIV. Um, in my work as an ambassador, I get to hear quite a lot about health challenges the world over. The current COVID-19 pandemic and the emerging and re-emerging outbreaks such as Ebola are new. And for many, they are so virulent that they often push the existing HIV and TB pandemics down the priority list, raising the possibility of losing progress we've made in re-emerging as fresh epidemics. We also hear a lot about the lives affected and devastating loss, about the resources still needed to tackle these challenges. Uh, but along with these sad stories are stories to lift us up and inspire us. Um, stories of people like Dr. Marguerite, who just spoke to us, uh, who co-founded Rome to respond to the community's needs, and of course, stories like um, Minister Ngole. Um, these demonstrate resilience, impact, sustainability, core principles of PEPFAR that the U.S. aims to foster. So from a single church initiative to provide home-based care and pray for the sick within the parish um, area at the peak of AIDS, Rowan began providing TB care and referrals to hospitals using the nurse-led approach from which he got to learn significant lessons. He expanded partnerships to provide nutritional support to poverty-stricken patients. He established a livelihood program that included a state-of-the-art tailoring workshop for your clients. And he started an orphan and vulnerable children's program funded through individual sponsors to address economic hardships for your clients and their families. He saw a need and he addressed it head on. And all of this was long before he began, he began receiving money from PEPFAR as a subgrantee. Many of you have lived through this era, this period, you know it was a crisis period. And you know that many health leaders and policymakers focused their attention on money and medicine for prevention and treatment aspects of healthcare support, such as emotional, psychosocial, spiritual, and nutritional support, unfortunately, took a back seat. But not here at Reach Out Louia. So I commend you for ensuring that addressing these issues were at the forefront of your mission and continue to be guiding principles of your efforts today. Now, so this past Wednesday, we commemorated World AIDS Day under the theme, In Stigma, and AIDS in pandemics. Well, while overall deaths from AIDS have declined over the years thanks to PEPFAR supported ART treatment, HIV still causes far too many new infections, particularly among young people. Unfortunately, fear or stigma or ostracism make many reluctant to openly share their HIV diagnosis with partners and loved ones. So conversations such as what we've already experienced today are so very critical 
and it's extended to places of worship, to schools, to workplaces, especially at home and in your community gatherings, it will go a long way in helping us to end HIV. And there's another threat to our community as well, TB. And while this is not a new disease, the TB epidemic has worsened by the HIV and COVID-19 pandemics. I'm therefore gratified that ROM provides comprehensive HIV and TB services, including counseling and testing, prevention of mother-to-child transmission, and prevention of positives in the city's highly populated and underserved communities um, where these services are most needed. So I learned that Rome was the first health facility in Uganda to eliminate mother-to-child transmission, and I've listened already with admiration to the testimonies here about the low-cost models like Rome's. It's, impossible, it's possible to achieve high-quality services. Uh, I see there's a cake here, <laughs> so I guess I should wrap it up. Um, so I'd just like to say in closing that Uganda, like many countries with PEPFAR presence, has experienced challenges and disruptions to its programs due to COVID-19. Ugandans have lived through two lockdowns and two waves of COVID-19 that saw many health care facilities fill to capacity, a number of deaths attributed to COVID-19, long-term closure of schools, slow vaccine rollout due to part to delays of getting vaccines into the country, and now, unfortunately, vaccine hesitancy among the broader public. So these challenges have impacted and will continue to critically impact HIV, TB, and other health programs contributing to preventable deaths. So as we celebrate 20 years of Reach Out Buya, let's celebrate life. And let's do that by getting our COVID jabs if we've not done so, and encouraging friends and family to do the same. So remember, when you have underlying conditions like HIV and TB, you are at higher risk for severe disease if infected by COVID-19. The United States has now provided almost 6.5 million COVID vaccine doses to Uganda. Um, uh, and I'm proud to share that we expect um, just about 3 million more to arrive on Monday. Uh, but these vaccines don't do any good uh, unless people avail themselves of them. So please take the opportunity to protect yourselves and to protect your families against COVID. I know, uh, as I say, don't count the things you do, but do the things that count. So please go get your jab. Uh, and for now, let us turn to, again, celebrating Rija Puya and uh, wishing it another 20 successful years and many more. Thank you. Asante Asana.